Hi guys, I welcome you to episode 5 of our light measurement series and today we're gonna measure the Lumatec. Here in front of me you can see the SUS 465 Watt Pro Compact LED by Lumatec. As you all know I have used the Lumatec Ballast to uh, measure the HPS because I always use Lumatec, I like the brand. They came out with a new spider system, this SUS. And this is made for a 120 tent, so perfectly for measurement in our home box tent. And the key features are on the box. I like the carton a lot. It's colored, it shows the product, it shows the key features, so the packaging is very nice. And it says it has a very high efficiency of 2.7 micromole per second per tube, and a high PPF output for high intensity 1265 micromole per second. So that's what we're gonna measure. We're curious about that. And um, what's interesting is she's also fully dim dimmable. The dimmer is included in the package and uh, the replaceable LED bars are each 93 watts and they can be exchanged if they're broken and they all comes with a frame that has to be built up. So let's open it up. More Lumatec. And first thing that I come is the manual also included where you can see how you have to install it. And then in here, brand new LEDs. They are very good protected, as you can see by the phone. And then in here, we have the frame and the different LED bars. I have to put them all together. As you can see when you come closer, here are the different LED bars, one, two, three, four, five, and the frame, and under it is the ballast. I will take that all out now carefully, and then here's the ballast at the bottom. I will take that all out and construct it all together, hang it up in our ambient home box tent, and then we'll do the measurement above, above our grid. I have now installed the SUS from Lumatec. As you can see in here, it was very easy. It's plug and play, meaning you click together the frame, you click in the bars and she's almost ready. You connect the two cables to the LED control in the middle. And then I hung up inside our Ambient Q120 Plus, our grow tent from Homebox. Equal distance to all four sides, to the left and to the front and side. And then the distance to our light measurement tool, the PAR200 from UPR Tech, is exactly from here from the sensor to the lamps 40 centimeters. We have chosen for 40 centimeters because Lumatech recommends between 30 and 50 centimeters above plant canopy. So we've taken the middle of that 40 centimeters. We will now turn on the lamps, let them run stationary for half an hour and then do the power measurement and the light measurement above the grid. Here we have the energy measurement of our Lumatec SUS 465 Watt Pro. This one is at now at 233 volts and it draws 2 amps. So that comes out to a power of actually 466.1 watts or 476.1 volt amperes with a power coefficient of 0 0.97. That's the mass of power consumption of the LED, which it draws in stationary running after three or four hours. After measuring all 144 measuring points on our grid, we have filtered into an Excel file and then calculated the light plot for you, which you can see here now. Here is that we have a relative homogenic light. Also on the outer edges, we have a relative high intensity of the light. The highest is as always in the center, 905 is maximum value, and the lowest is the 318 of the upper right corner. The key values of our Lumatec SUS 465 Watt Pro is 467 watts for the measured power consumption. We have a BPFD sum of 91,847, a BPFD average of 638, a BPFD per watt of 1.37, BPFD minimum of 318, 
BPFD maximum of 905, the homogeneity is 0 0.5 and the inhomogeneity is 0 0.35. I personally found it very interesting to measure the Lumatec SUS 465 Pro because I'm a big fan of the Lumatec ballast. Now the LED uh, also delivers lots of light as you can see in the plot. She's very heavy. That's a uh, negative point about it because adjusting her or hanging up needs some muscle power. And when you lay the grow plants on it, I think, feel it's very hard to adjust the height above the plant canopy because I only have one height. I cannot adjust the back side to lower plants or the front side with a, like I can do with a modular system. So having all that built into one frame, I see as a negative point as well. But gee, we have to try over plants. All in all, it's a good technical system. Thanks for watching. See you next time.